Hi Mary, I hope you had a lovely Thanksgiving. Wondering if you have snow. Um, it's been a little chilly here in Georgia, but definitely no snow here. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Make my screen big. All right. She was feeling feisty. Nice. So you can still get out of that tunnel a little bit sooner than you are. Wait, let's make this slow-mo. So. So first what I would do is not go this deep in. So I would kind of, I would... You want to think about all the way back to your lead out, where you're, the pockets where you could potentially be trapped in. So because I don't want to be, especially if I'm coming to this side of the jump, um, I need to be passed because it, she's going to have to have, she's going to have to have a lead change to get back into the weaves because there's a bit of a turn there. So you don't want to get stuck back here because you need to be up here before she takes this jump so you can set a nice line. So you don't want to get stuck in the pocket of the tunnel. So that brings me all the way back to the lead out where I wouldn't lead out quite as far because I want to be able to have my motion to help drive her to the tunnel, but I don't really want to pass this area. Um, I want her to be ahead of me sending her into the tunnel so as soon as I see she's committed, I'm only about here and then I can take off down the line and not get stuck behind that jump. And see how deep you are in the pocket here. And now you've got so much more yardage that you have to take off around to get around this jump. Um, oh, that's right. You're doing that one. Okay, so you're doing front cross here. Gotcha. All right, so let's talk about that front cross. So even if you're doing your front cross and not pushing to the weave poles, the front cross here, you still need to be past this jump long before she's committed to show her the front cross. So right here, she is committed to that jump, which means your front cross should be done. So she knows that she is going over here. It's not horrible. She's taking off and you've about finished your rotation. So it's not horrible, um, but it definitely could be earlier because you're gonna watch how she lands and see how she's like kind of behind you. She's going to land, she's landed in a bit of extension, which means she needs to take a correction stride and she's working pretty hard to get back on the correct line. I also would like to see a little bit more connection from you um, through that area. If you see here, you are strongly connected to the jump. You are not connected to your dog or even your dog's line. Um, you, but you're very connected to this jump, which I promise you is not going to move. So let's try to shift that connection back. Obviously she's behind you, so it's going to be hard for you to have eye contact connection, but I'd at least like to see your gaze down here on her line. She's such a good, honest girl. And then take off into those weaves. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good girl. So you can just continue to run straight all the way past that jump. You don't have to go in front of her. You can just continue to run straight all the way to that fence. <clears throat> Good girl. All right, so see here. See how she's coming at the jump, and she thinks this is where she's going. Because of where you are, you are not setting the line that she has to be here. So again, all the way back to the start here, what I would do is not lead out as much 
and be tailing her tunnel all through here and let her drive ahead more to that tunnel without you, without you escorting her all the way to the tunnel. And you're peeling off because you really need to be, when she's here, you really need to be up here so that you're setting the line and she knows where she's going. See how she kind of was like, oh, I'm going to run into your leg. See how she's jumping into you? She has no idea that she's supposed to be going to the weave next. Look at her weaves, they're so good. They make me so happy. I right, see how you're escorting her all the way to the tunnel entry. That was a very nice blind cross. That was lovely. That was a lovely line. Your blind cross was timely. It was completed before she got out of the tunnel. And look at those weave independents. So the only thing that you could change with that um, is you don't need to run the literal same yardage as she does with the tunnel, even if you're blind crossing. So you can be lateral and sending her in the tunnel and you're just running over here into your blind cross. So don't feel like you have to always run the same yardage as her. We're going to use distance to our advantage. Um, because in his foot race, you're never going to beat her. So we always want to make the yardage that she has to travel more than the yardage that we have to travel. That way we stay ahead of her and giving her the information. So in, in this situation, I would just be a little bit more lateral off the tunnel. And instead of running all the way in here, I would have her line be there. I'd be over here and be running straight up to this jump for my blind cross. See how you're slowing down, waiting for her to get in the tunnel? That needs to be her responsibility, not yours. Because all that does is put you behind because you're waiting for her. Let her do that on her own. So your timing was a little a little bit better on that. Still could have been a little bit earlier because um, your blind cross happened. Let's back it up here. All right, so since you're blind crossing this, your blind cross really should be complete now. See where you are and where she is, she's about to land on your leg. But thankfully you kept moving, so you got out of her way. Um, your timing would be a lot easier if you weren't putting her in the tunnel and running the yardage with her. Love and that independence. It's so strong. Good girl. Overall, really good job. You are coming along nicely. Um, the timing is getting better. It really is. When we first started working together, your timing was really, really off. Um, and it's not now. It's, it's, it's getting a lot better. Um, so keep up the good work, and we will talk soon.